Malaysia's Air Force, commonly known as the Royal Malaysian Air Force RMAF, is a vital piece of the country's national defense. They safeguard the skies, which are the 21st century battleground. Yet what is locally known about Malaysia's army in general is that it is prone to corruption. There have been repeated instances of severe mismanagement and downright corruption that is causing the army to falter behind regional counterparts. Hence, the most vital piece of Malaysia's defense can also be one of the most problematic. Furthermore, it has been voiced throughout Malaysia's society that the country is lagging far behind countries like Indonesia and Singapore in terms of national security. Singapore now boasts some of the most advanced fighter jets, whereas Indonesia is the leading military powerhouse in Southeast Asia. These are all making Malaysians question the strength and power of their air force. Is Malaysia's air force really weak? Is it not on par with its neighbors? Well, to understand this, let's talk about the Air Force's size, equipment, and future. Let's start with the size. The RMAF is modest compared to regional powerhouses like Indonesia. According to the Global Firepower, there are about 15,000 Air Force personnel, which isn't a lot compared to larger nations. The total number of aircraft, on the other hand, is about 143, 26 of which are fighters, 12 are attack types, 16 are transport, 31 are trainers, 7 are for special missions, 4 are for tanker fleet, and 52 are helicopters. Now let's talk about their equipment. Aircrafts, especially fighters, are the center stone of a country's air force. Fighters are essential for maintaining air superiority and conducting various defensive and offensive operations. The RMAF's fighter fleet primarily consists of the Sukhoi Su-30MKM and the FA-18D Hornet. The Sukhoi 30MKM of of RMAF are fighters that hail from Russia. The Su-30 MKM, tailor-made for Malaysia's Royal Air Force, boasts an arsenal of advanced air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles with an impressive range of approximately 75 miles. Russia completed the delivery of four Su MKM fighter planes to Malaysia by March 3, 2008, marking a milestone in a contract initiated in 2003. This contract, totaling $900 million, is set to deliver a total of 18 Su-30 MKM fighters to Malaysia by the end of 2008, with the initial six aircraft having been delivered in 2007. By 2011, all 18 Su-30 MKMs were in possession of the Royal Malaysian Air Force, solidifying the nation's defense capabilities. The design of the Su-30 MKM is optimized to meet the specific needs of Malaysia's air defense strategies, enhancing the country's aerial prowess with its sophisticated missile systems. But besides the Su-30 MKM, there is also the Boeing FA-18 Hornet, which unlike the Su-30 that hails from Russia, this one hails from the United States. The versatile FA-18 Hornet seamlessly combines fighter and attack aircraft capabilities. Originating from its first prototype on November 18, 1978, it swiftly entered service with the U.S. Navy and Marine Corps by 1981. In 1993, Malaysia's procurement of MiGs and Hornets, spearheaded by Dr. Mahathir Mohamad's tenure as Prime Minister, reflected a strategic move to bolster the Royal Malaysian Air Force. Despite challenges in affordability, Malaysia secured a deal for eight FA-18Ds, with the first batch delivered on March 19, 1997, and the remainder by August 31, 1993. This marked the initiation of Malaysia's significant foreign military sales program, with Boeing assuming responsibility for sustaining the fleet, offering comprehensive support, encompassing engineering, logistics, pilot training, and technical publications. In November of 2011, Boeing furthered its commitment to Malaysia's air defense by securing a contract for retrofitting eight Royal Malaysian Air Force FA-18 aircraft with engineering change proposal 618. This endeavor, coupled with subsequent upgrades, aimed to enhance the fleet's capabilities, ensuring its relevance and interoperability for years to come. These advancements also align the RMAF's FA-18Ds with the FA-18EF Super Hornet, providing a seamless transition for future operational needs. On top of the Boeing and Sukhoi aircrafts, the RMAF also has an order from South Korea. The RMAF reported in early 2023 that they will acquire the most advanced variant of the FA-50 Fighting Eagle, the Block 20 from Korea Aerospace Industries or Kai. In an interview with
with Kai CEO Kang Gu Young, he highlighted that the Block 20 variant chosen by Malaysia surpasses the capabilities of those used by the Republic of Korea Air Force and other nations. The contract, valued at 1.2 trillion Korean won, approximately 920 million US dollars, involves the delivery of 18 new FA-50 Fighting Eagle light combat aircraft to the Royal Malaysian Air Force. This acquisition meets the RMAF's need for light fighters and lead-in fighter trainers, marking Korea Aerospace Industries' largest contract in Southeast Asia this deal positions Malaysia as the fourth nation in the region to deploy the T-50 Golden Eagle aircraft family. In addition, it was disclosed that 14 of these aircraft will be assembled in Malaysia as part of an industrial collaboration program enhancing local aerospace capabilities, with the remaining four being assembled in South Korea. The first deliveries to Malaysia are expected by October 2026. Let's now move on and discuss the maritime patrol aircrafts of the RMA. AF. One of the future aircrafts that they will soon have is the ATR-72 MPA. Back in early 2023, the Ministry of Defense of Malaysia finalized a significant agreement with Leonardo. The contract, signed in a ceremonial setting, involves the acquisition of two ATR-72 MPA platforms. The ATR-72 MPA, a twin turboprop craft, is engineered for intricate maritime patrol assignments. As the most recent adaptation of the ATR Regional Transport Series, this aircraft is tailored for a variety of operations, including maritime surveillance, anti-submarine and anti-surface unit warfare, search and rescue, environmental monitoring, and medical evacuations alongside personnel and material transport. Malaysia's Choices The ATR-72 MPA preserves the ATR-72 600's acclaimed features of reliability, maintainability, and cost-effectiveness while enhancing comfort. Additionally, the ATR-72 MPA is equipped with electronic intelligence gathering. For trainers, they deploy a lot of trainer aircrafts. One of the most used, however, is the Pilatus PC-7 from Switzerland. The RMAF, a long-standing patron of Pilatus, initially purchased 44 Pilatus PC-7 turbo trainers in 1982 and added 9 PC-7 MK-2 models in 2000. Then, added further aircrafts in the 21st century. The RMAF also deploys several unmanned aerial vehicles and systems. One of the most exciting ones is a current order from Turkey. In 2023, the Malaysian Ministry of Defense had finalized a significant agreement with Turkish Aerospace Industries for the acquisition of three Anka multi-role unmanned aircraft systems. The Anka systems are medium-altitude long-endurance UASs equipped for intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, reconnaissance, electronic warfare, and combat missions. The contract, valued at 423.8 million Malaysian ringgit, approximately 91.6 million US dollars, includes the aircraft and a control station, with the system slated to enhance the operational capabilities of both the Royal Malaysian Air Force and the Royal Malaysian Police. For helicopters, they use the Eurocopter 725 Super Cougar helicopters from France. In 2010, the RMAF placed Place an order for 12 EC-725 helicopters to replace its aging fleet of Sikorsky-built S-61A-4 Neri helicopters, which are primarily used for search and rescue and utility missions. The EC-725, a derivative of Eurocopter's AS-532 Cougar, is a long-range tactical transport helicopter designed for multi-role missions including troop transport, casualty evacuation, combat search and rescue, maritime surveillance, humanitarian support, medical evacuation, and shipborne operations. Now, finally, let's talk about the C-130 fleet. The RMAF currently has 10 C-130H Hercules tactical transport aircraft, with several of them being C-130H-30 stretched variants and four KC-130H aerial refueling tankers in service with the 20 Squadron based in Subang. But the RMAF is planning to replace these fleets by 2040. The Royal Malaysian Air Force has initiated plans to modernize its fleet by replacing the older Lockheed C-130H Hercules aircraft with newer models. 
the RMAF is considering the C-130J Super Hercules, the latest in Lockheed Martin's Hercules series, along with several other options. The replacement program is slated for proposal under the 14th Malaysia Plan, targeting funding between 2040 and 2045, ensuring the RMAF maintains operational capability with its existing fleet for another 15 to 20 years. Additionally, the RMAF operates four Airbus A400M aircraft, acquired in 2015, which provide strategic transport and aerial refueling capabilities. These aircraft complement the C-130H fleet in supporting the logistical needs of the RMAF and the broader Malaysian Armed Forces. The fleet is further bolstered by several Airbus PTDI CN-235M tactical transport aircraft. Now, we've discussed several equipment of the RMAF and their size. What you should know, however, is that while we talked about a lot of equipment, there are still a lot more out there that we missed out on. Furthermore, the strength and size of the RMAF may indeed be small, but as we mentioned throughout the video, they are slowly getting back on their feet. Most of the future aircrafts that are coming into Malaysia were announced just in 2023, which indicates that the future of Malaysia's Air Force is bound to become stronger. But anyway, do let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.